SAP add-ons found in the Administration module are used to extend SAP Business One functionality and are registered automatically during the installation of SAP Business One. Under Add-ons, we will take a look and describe Add-on Manager and Add-on Administration. First, we'll start with Add-on Administration. SAP Business One Add-on Administration enables SAP Business One to identify the add-ons as well as letting you set both company-wide and user-specific preferences. In the Add-ons Administration window, you see two tabs, Company Preferences and User Preferences. We are able to use this tab to register and assign add-ons and to set company-wide preferences. Under the Available Add-ons, this displays a list of add-ons available for registration and assignment. The Register Add-on button opens the Add-on registration window that allows you to register set add-ons. Remove Add-on removes the selected add-on from the list. In order to assign a specific add-on, select said add-on and click on the arrows left or right. If you click it to the right, it will make now Company Assign Add-on. If you'd like to take it back, you're able to select and remove said add-on from the right side of the screen back to the Available Add-ons side of the screen. The Send Notification to Users button opens a window in which you can create a notification on new add-ons and send it to all users of the company. By clicking and creating a message header and a message body, you are able to now send notification to all users. Now on to the right side of the screen, which is your company assigned add-on. Display a list of add-ons that were assigned to the company that is currently logged on. It is used to assign and unassigned registered add-ons. First, we have the order column. This displays the add-on position within the event receiving order. This position determines the order in which company assigned add-ons receive events from the SAP Business One application. You are able to modify the order by clicking the up or down arrow position. Under default group, here we have the way that this add-on is opened when SAP Business One is started. Manual, automatic, mandatory, and disabled. In manual, SAP Business One does not start the add-on automatically. Users can start the add-on at any time. When a manually started add-on is stopped, a message informs the user. In automatic, SAP Business One starts the add-on automatically. Users can stop automatically started add-ons with no impact on SAP Business One. When the add-on stops, a warning message informs the users. In mandatory, SAP Business One starts the add-on automatically. The add-on is necessary for the successful operation of the SAP Business One application. The application launches the add-on at startup and shuts it down if the add-on is terminated for any reason. Users cannot start or stop mandatory add-ons. In disabled, the company assigned add-on is disabled and not available for users. As a note, for manual and automatic default groups, you can override the company preferences by setting different preferences for specific users in the company. More into that in the next tab. Next column is Force Install. Force Install forces the SAP Business One application to install the add-on each time the user on this client logs on to the assigned company. If the add-on is already installed, the application does not reinstall it. Lastly, Active. Active temporarily activates or disables the selected add-on. This is used mainly for debugging purposes. A disable add-on is not available for the assigned company and all its users. Use this tab to set the startup behavior of add-ons for specific users in the company. The settings you define in this tab overrides the setting in the Company Preferences tab, except for the mandatory add-ons. If any changes are made to the window, click Update to keep such changes. Now let's take a look at the User Preferences tab. As a note, you cannot set user preferences for add-ons defined as mandatory in the Company Preferences tab. In the User Preferences tab, mandatory add-ons will receive the default setting. In the User's Preferences screen, we are able to select a user and change the company preferences to the user preferences. As an example, if we click on Jason Butler, we see that he currently has the B1 Usability Package preference set to Automatic. We are able to change to the following options. 
manual, which would be SAP Business One not starting the add-on automatically, the user can start and stop the add-on at any time. When a manual add-on is stopped, a message informs said user. In Automatic, SAP Business One starts the add-on automatically. Users can stop automatically started add-ons with no impact to SAP Business One. When the add-on stops, a warning message informs the user. Disable, the add-on is disabled for selected users. In default, the user preferences for the add-on comes from the company preferences. Here we will set to manual. Click update to save the change. We will navigate to Administration, Add-ons, Add-on Manager. Add-on Manager window is used to monitor running add-ons and to manually start or stop an add-on. This window displays add-ons that were specifically assigned to you or to the company to which you have logged on. Here we have an add-on that is currently connected. In order to disconnect, select said add-on and click Stop. If we would like to start the add-on again, we simply select the add-on and click Start. The status changes from disconnected to now connected. As a reminder, you can start and stop multiple add-ons at the same time. However, you cannot stop add-ons that are classified as mandatory. In the Pending Add-ons tab, you can view a list of add-ons that are registered for the company but not yet installed on this client machine. The Failed Add-ons for Lightweight Development shows add-ons that failed to install. The Add-on Manager and Administration functions are one of many tools that SAP Business One provides to make the process of maintaining changes and personalization simple and logical. Join us as we help you learn more about SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.